Stonehenge is one of the most famous and mysterious monuments in the world. It is a prehistoric stone circle located in the Salisbury Plain of England, about 13 kilometers, 8 miles, north of the city of Salisbury. It consists of a ring of standing stones, some of which are topped by horizontal lintels, forming a giant archway. The stones are arranged in a complex pattern that aligns with the movements of the sun and the moon, and possibly other celestial bodies. The purpose and meaning of Stonehenge have been debated for centuries, and many theories have been proposed, ranging from religious rituals to astronomical observations to burial site. However, no definitive answer has been found, and Stonehenge remains a mystery and a source of fascination for millions of visitors every year. History The construction of Stonehenge spans several millennia, from the Neolithic period to the Bronze Age. The earliest evidence of human activity at the site dates back to around 800 BC, when Mesolithic hunter-gatherers may have erected wooden posts in the area. The first stone structures were built around 3000 BC, when a circular ditch and bank, known as the Henge, were dug around the site. Inside the Henge, 56 pits, called Aubrey holes, were dug, possibly to hold wooden or stone posts. Around 2500 BC, the first phase of the stone circle was erected, using large sarsen stones, which are a type of sandstone found in the region. These stones were transported from about 30 kilometers, 19 miles, away, using sledges, rollers, and ropes. The sarsen stones were shaped and fitted with mortise and tenon joints, and some of them were carved with symbols and patterns. The sarsen circle was surrounded by a ring of smaller bluestones, which are a type of volcanic rock that came from the Presili Hills in Wales, about 240 kilometers, 150 miles, away. The bluestones were also shaped and arranged in various patterns, such as a horseshoe, a double arc, and a Z-shape. The transportation and placement of the bluestones is one of the most puzzling aspects of Stonehenge, as it would have required a tremendous amount of human labor and coordination, as well as sophisticated engineering and navigation skills. Around 2000 BC, the second phase of the stone circle was completed, with the addition of more sarsen stones and bluestones, forming the iconic trilithon structure, which consists of two upright stones supporting a horizontal lentil. The trilithons were arranged in a horseshoe shape, with the largest and tallest one, known as the Great Trilithon, facing the northeast entrance of the Henge. The bluestones were also rearranged in a circle and an oval, and some of them were removed or broken. Around 1500 BC, the final phase of the stone circle was completed, with the addition of more bluestones, forming a circle within the sarsen circle and a horseshoe within the trilithon horseshoe. The bluestones were also aligned with the solstices and the equinoxes, marking the seasonal changes of the year. The construction of Stonehenge ended around 1100 BC, and the site was gradually abandoned and fell into decay. The stones were damaged by weathering, vandalism, and theft, and some of them were reused for other purposes, such as building materials and road construction. The site was also looted and excavated by various people, such as antiquarians, archaeologists, and treasure hunters, who disturbed the original layout and context of the stones. Culture The culture and society of the people who built and used Stonehenge are still largely unknown as they left no written records and few material traces. However, based on archaeological and historical evidence, some hypotheses can be made about their beliefs, practices, and lifestyles. The people who built Stonehenge were part of the Neolithic and Bronze Age cultures that emerged in Britain and Europe after the introduction of agriculture and metallurgy. They lived in small farming communities, growing crops such as wheat and barley, and raising animals such as cattle, sheep, and pigs. They also hunted, fished, and gathered wild resources such as nuts, berries, and mushrooms. They made pottery, textiles, and tools from stone, bone, wood, and metal. They traded with other groups, exchanging goods and ideas, and traveled long distances, following the routes of rivers and coasts. They also had a complex social and political organization, with leaders, warriors, priests, and artisans. They buried their dead in collective tombs, called long barrows, or in individual graves, sometimes with grave goods, such as weapons, jewelry, and pottery. 
They also erected various monuments, such as standing stones, earthworks, and stone circles, which may have served as markers of territory, places of worship, or astronomical observatories. The people who used Stonehenge may have had a variety of religious and spiritual beliefs, which may have changed over time and differed among groups. Some of their beliefs may have been influenced by the older Mesolithic culture, which may have had a shamanic and animistic worldview, seeing spirits and forces in nature and animals. Some of their beliefs may have also been influenced by the newer Beaker culture, which may have had a more hierarchical and warrior-oriented worldview, worshipping gods and ancestors and emphasizing status and power. Some of the possible beliefs and practices that may have been associated with Stonehenge are Worship of the sun and the moon as the main sources of light, heat, and life, and as the rulers of the day and the night, and the seasons. The alignment of the stones with the solstices and the equinoxes may have been a way of honoring and celebrating these celestial bodies, and of synchronizing human activities with the natural cycles. Worship of the earth and the land as the provider of food, water, and shelter, and as the mother of all living things. The hench, the ditch, and the bank may have been a way of creating a sacred space, separating the inside from the outside, and the human from the natural. The stones may have also represented the ancestors, the spirits, or the gods, who were believed to dwell in the earth or to emerge from it. Worship of the ancestors and the dead, as the sources of wisdom, guidance, and protection, and as the links between the past, the present, and the future. The Aubrey holes, the long barrows, and the graves may have been a way of storing and honoring the remains of the deceased, and of communicating and making offerings to them. The stones may have also served as memorials, monuments, or markers of the dead, or as portals to the underworld or the other world. Worship of the gods and the spirits, as the creators, controllers, and destroyers of the world, and as the patrons of various aspects of life, such as fertility, war, healing, and justice. The symbols and patterns carved on the stones may have been a way of representing and invoking these deities, or of expressing their attributes, powers, or messages. The stones may have also served as altars, shrines, or idols of the gods, or as places of sacrifice, offering, or prayer. Worship of the self and the community, as the agents, participants, and beneficiaries of the world, and as the members of a group, a tribe, or a nation. The construction and use of Stonehenge may have been a way of demonstrating and enhancing the skills, knowledge, and prestige of the builders and the users, and of creating and maintaining social bonds, identities, and hierarchies. The stones may have also served as symbols, landmarks, or meeting places of the people, or as stages, arenas, or theaters of their activities, such as ceremonies, festivals, rites of passage, or games. Conclusion Stonehenge is a remarkable and mysterious monument that reflects the culture and history of the people who built and used it. It is a testament to their ingenuity, creativity, and diversity, as well as to their curiosity, spirituality, and ambition. It is also a witness to their interactions, conflicts, and changes, as well as to their continuity, legacy, and influence. It is a monument that invites questions, inspires wonder, and challenges understanding. It is a monument that tells a story, but also leaves a mystery.